All right, so welcome to another Beginner's Blitz episode where we chat and talk a little bit about things for people just getting started in the stock market. In today's video, we're going to take a look at how do we actually scan for liquid stocks on Thinkorswim. So when you're talking about liquid, what does it really mean? It means that there's a lot of things and trades out there in the marketplace. Because if you have an illiquid stock, you can't get in and out of a stock easily. But when you have liquidity, it's very fluid and dynamic. It allows you to get into the stock very easily and out of the stock very easily. It's kind of like stocks such as uh, Meta and uh, Facebook in this case, or Walmart and Tesla. Stocks that are very popular, they are more liquid, and they also means they have great pricing for you to be able to get into the stock, meaning the bid ask spread is not too wide. If the bid ask spread is very wide, you oftentimes can get ripped off in the marketplace. So how do we scan for these types of stocks and how do we actually go in and do some exploratory research to find these highly liquid vehicles? So what I'm going to do is I'm going into the Thinkorswim panel and platform here. And if you uh, don't have this platform, you can do the scan in many other platforms. Like here is one in uh, TC2000. There's also you could do things on um uh, trading view as well. So you could do it in many different uh, platforms and mediums. So here is trading view. But what we want to do is uh, something that some of these platforms don't have, but Thinkorswim does have, is I want to go into the scan tab and show you how you can actually scan things based on the options. And the reason you may want to scan that is oftentimes stocks that trade options will also be more liquid, meaning more popular, and means it'll be easier to get in and out of the positions. So when I go to the public section and I go into the weeklies area, now I'm able to scan that stock as far as the last price, and maybe let's say $15 a share, all the way to $999 a share. And now we've got a little bit of some criteria. So we could do a scan. I'm scanning in the weekly. So if I pull up any of these companies like AA, AAL, um, let's say ABC, Adobe, um, these things will have some options volume. So here is Adobe. And when you start looking at this, uh, let's collapse this, you could see there's weekly options, whereas some of the other stocks do not have that. And that's what we want, because that also means they'll probably have good volume, and so on. Now, if we go back to the scan area, we could also eliminate this by volume. So let's say about 900, whoops, about 900,000 shares in volume and scan that. And now we should be able to get even less results here. So you could fine tune some of these things uh, further, just depending on, um, you know, your criteria on how you want to do it. And then as you go into it, what you could do is go in and sort by volume. And then you can see here, I sorted by volume. This one's got 231,000 uh, right there, okay? So what we could do is actually resort that. And you can see app, uh, Amazon, then Apple, AMD, Bank of America, BABA, and AI were some of the biggest ones traded. So this is an easy way to do that uh, when it comes down to uh, some of these stocks in how you would go about uh, approaching it. Now, I would also sort things based on, let's say, average volume. There's a, a few other things that you can do here as far as adding things based on filter and condition groups. Uh, but just to show you how you could approach it, just simple right here, scan in the weeklies. You could do stock right there and add a filter for uh, basically a condition where uh, the volume is a little greater. And even if you don't do that, just sort by volume and you can see that. And then as you scroll down, anything under a million at towards the end of the day could be a little bit of a problem. So other than that, we've got a good list right here uh, of stocks. Um, are there more out there? Yeah, there are. We could go to, let's say, a list of a thousand. Uh, but here's the issue with this is when you start doing things like this, as you scroll down, What's going to happen now is as we keep scrolling right here, some of these stocks are, you could see, uh, are traded a lot less, 418,000, even though it's Lockheed Martin. So my point being here is that go ahead and do the scan, scan in the weeklies, and you'll get a lot better of a kind of result to, as a starting point to scanning for some of these stocks that are liquid in the Thinkorswim platform. And the reason you might want liquidity is because if you trade things like, let's go to AutoZone, which is a little bit of a different um, kind of company here. It's up $45 today, but here's a little bit of the problem. 
you've got a bid ask spread. The volume, look at this, 141,000. Its bid is 2512, but the ask is 2516. So the spread is very wide. Okay. Um, if you deal with the options, the options market itself as well, when we look at this, let's just look at here. Uh, let's go to about a, there's no weeklies, first off, but it's a $4 width in the options market. Um, whereas if you compare this to, let's say, Meta, okay, or Amazon, um, you can see there's a, a 15 cent difference in the options market and the liquidity is, you know, right around that uh, 32 million already. The bid and ask, you can see, is just a few pennies difference. So you won't get ripped off. So that's kind of the goal and key here. So anyway, I hope this helps. Truly appreciate you sticking with me, enjoying these uh, Beginner Blitz uh, videos. And, um, you know, if you like some of this stuff, check out our website. There's a lot of great material there. There's a lot of freebies that you could download, cheat sheets, guides, and much more. So I'll see you there in another video and episode.